In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you about how to do mediation analysis in R for binary outcome. And in this tutorial, we are going to use the process micro. So far, I have published a tutorial using the mediation package for mediation analysis in R for binary outcome. And but actually, Hayes process can also do that. But it uses the log odds ratio approach for the B pass. So its method is slightly different from the mediation package. And I have published about the process, this macro for binary outcome using SPSS. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about using this process macro in R. Before we go into detail, I want to briefly talk about the basic idea about how to calculate indirect effect in mediation analysis. Let's just look at the more simple example where the dependent variable is continued. So if the dependent variable is continued and also the mediator is continued, then we can just use linear regression model, yes. So this is the A part, this is the B part. So you can first regress the N with respect, with respect to X. And then the second regression, the B part, is like Y regression with respect to the M and the X, I, V. Then we can just calculate partial derivative for this N with respect to X and Y with respect to M. And we got the A1 and B1. And we can calculate indirect effect A1 times B1. This is a big, uh, this more straightforward uh, situation. But it got a bit complicated when the dependent variables are, is binary. Why is that? Okay, let's look at this again. So let's keep the X and M are the same, but the Y is binary. If the Y is binary, so the A part, X on M, this regression is still the same because the N is still continuous. But the B part regression, it will become a bit complicated because since that the, the Y is binary, we need to use the logistic regression. And so if you calculate the partial degree for the A part, it's still the same. You get the A1. But for the logistic regression format, you will calculate partial degree which which better M, you got this, which is a bit complicated. But this logic regression can also be written in a log odds ratio format. So if you write as log odds format, then you can get this format and you can calculate the partial derivative and you can get the B1, okay, which looks the similar to the linear model uh, in the B part, yes. So in this case, then you might be able to calculate the indirect fact A1 times B1. Actually, that's exactly the, the process macro uh, in SPS is doing. And similarly, uh, this process macro in R also use the same measure to calculate the indirect fact. Now we can shift to R and I can show you how you can do that. Okay, now we get to R. So this is the process.r. You can download it online. I have another tutorial show you how you can download this, uh, this process.r, this file. And I also show you how you can use that. Basic idea is that you need to Select all thing and then you run it. I already run it uh, before making recording, so uh, basically I'm not going to write again. But you run it and then the process function is in the R environment. If you have question, you can refer to my the other video about how to set up this macro in R, and I'm going to put a link down below. Okay, assuming that you already run this, then we can write a R square, uh, uh, you can all create a file, new file, new R square, and write this. I'm going to put this R code in a video description as well, so you can copy paste to try it by yourself. Okay, so we're going to write, read the data from the GitHub. So this is a simulated data. Of course, you, you might have your own data, yes, to do analysis. So, but this is just for the purpose of this tutorial, I simulated a uh, data 
and I post in GitHub. So I'm going to, we're going to read this data into the R environment. So you read. So we say this data as data mediation. And we can I can point out the first six rows, uh, first six rows of the data. And you can point out to see how the data looks like. So X is continue, Y is continue, but uh, sorry, X is continue, N is continue, but Y is binary, one and zero. Of course, all these here not the only one, but that's a zero for sure. Okay, so we read the data. This data has three columns of uh, of data. And now we can just use the process to do the calculation. So this process function is already in the environment, the R Studio environment, and we use model four. So the most simple model of mediation analysis. And the interesting thing is that this process similar similar to the case in SPSS, you do not need to tell that okay y is binary. It seems that this process, this code, this macro can recognize that as long as it's a one and zero, you recognize that it's a it's a binary and you use logistic regression. Okay, let's just run that. So you saw the result first here and now this progress bar showing the bootstrapping progress. Okay, that's it. So let's look at the A path. So this you they tell you that use model four, yes, and the sample size four hundred. And then so this is the A part regression, yes, it's a linear regression. So there's nothing anything special here. But the outcome variable for Y is binary. And actually here you recognize that it's a binary outcome. And so you use the logic regression analysis. And so it and this is calculate the calculate the regression coefficient for X and M. And then it calculate the direct fat and indirect fat. Of course, the focus we are we want to look like to focus is indirect fat, that it doesn't include the zero in between the lower bound and upper bound. Since that it doesn't include the zero, so it means that the indirect fat is significant. Okay, you might have question that how exactly it calculate this indirect fat. It actually is this number times this number. We can do a to verify, we can say that we can say that zero point a two a one times the zero point three a six three yes a a two a one three a six three and then we say equal okay this is three one nine nine so this is three one nine nine as you can see that that's the the way calculate the indirect fat in the process. Um, okay, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer your questions.